This is VR, this is VR headquarters right here. Over here we have the music element. Electronic music is a big part of what we're doing because it's probably the best mechanism, best kind of like content to actually uh, immerse yourself in. Because this is where I sit. Downstairs here is where is a green screen studio, and that's basically where we shoot all our VR content. So I, sit, I can sit up here and look down on the action. This is Bocky. Good to meet. Yeah. So where where this is the this is the VR part, and this is the crypto part, and they're the two things coming together. So I'm going to show you how we make. VR, and then we're going to talk about how it looks, and then we're going to talk about how the crypto element hooks into that. This is our music studio. Okay, so what, what we're planning on doing here is that we're going to set up two Kinect cameras. There'll be a Kinect camera here. A Kinect camera is a depth sensor camera, right? It's not actually like a video camera. Another depth sen sensor camera on this side. Essentially what we create is, a, is from two sides, we create a point cloud stream of the DJ and the decks and, and basically all the things that the, the camera is, is, is sensing. And we basically take it and we import it into Unity. Okay, and Unity is the VR world that we're, we're actually creating. Fans of that DJ from all over the world put their goggles on and they come together in this apartment and, uh, and, 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 and have this immersive music experience. But then it gets even more trippy from there because we're developing a thing called VR Radio. From there, you can pick one of the DJ's tracks and you can head off inside an immersive wormhole on a journey that lasts as long as the track or the set lasts. So this, okay, there's a couple of different ways of, of accessing VR. One is via mobile, and one is via console. This is this is this, this is HTC Vive, one of the most probably the most successful platform to date. Um, their innovations have been quite amazing, and we've been building our dream channel platform for Vive and PlayStation, but we're starting with Vive. So these are your hands. Basically, what can happen in in the VR world when you look down at these, you can see your hands, and you can grab things and pick up stuff and fire guns and open doors. This is a Unity build and you can see this is Amsterdam, the whole city that we bought online, but you can see how it's untextured. You see that the streets here, they're very untextured. So the idea there is we've used this as our starting point to, to actually have something that, that people can really get come, come back to continuously. Story, story is everything. This story is all about a bunch of gangs youth gangs that are trying to own a city. So what's happening here is these two sensors, the, the, these guys form a virtual room, okay, which I scan and create. So this whole world, you, you do things because sound draws you to them. Okay, so let's, um, let's go here. Okay, cool. So this girl here looks pretty cool. Now I'm inside a virtual apartment and this is a girl called Nikki Blonde, who is a kind of person that wants you to stay in her apartment as long as you can. And obviously my, my amount, the amount of time I spend in here is measured in gaze. And this is literally an actress who, you know, she's pretty sexy and she's just going to talk to me. You left me hanging outside this window since last night. I bet it was your wife that woke you up. <laughs> oh, come back to your dream and finish it. I have an entire right, so of course I want to hang around, right? So yeah, anyway, let, let's change. Let, let's do something else. Let's change. Let's change channels. Okay. So I'm going to bring up. See in front of me now. I have a menu system in front of me, and if I look at this one here, that's the DJ sector. If I fire at it, I then move into another sector of the world. So there's two ways of getting around the VR world. One is through teleporting. One's through gaze. Okay. So this is. I'm just showing you the teleporting way. Now if I look down this way, you can you can hear hear the music getting a bit louder. And louder again, it's because there's a party here somewhere, right? So this is, a, this is again, electronic music talent uploading their VR films into their virtual apartment inside the world. So I'm now currently being measured in gaze. The amount of time I'm in here basically revolves around how much, how much I like his music. So if I didn't bail out of here, just then a gaze calculation would have happened. If he is a sponsored DJ, like by a brand, he earns an amount of gaze coin paid to him by the brand for the amount of time that I'm in there. That's how it works, right? I get the content free as the user, the brand pays. So that's the ultimate example. Whereas if he wasn't sponsored, like say this guy here, if this guy's not sponsored, then we have a user growth pool. So basically he earns, the DJ earns gaze coin for the amount of time that I'm in there from the user growth pool, right? And then I also get incentivized from the same pool for being in there. So users are not only 
getting free content, they're actually getting incentivized and the DJ is also getting paid. So everyone's happy. That's the idea to get them to get this the ball rolling. So it's actually a really unique way of actually traveling around and having a fun experience. Um, looking for music that I like and having fun. So there's all kind you can imagine how this could expand into all kinds of things. Yeah, so this was this is this is essentially the MVP which we built to just sort of understand how it would all work and then the, the actual um, one we're up we're actually uploading this whole thing to Steam and to Vive right now is way bigger. The city is huge and it's five times the size of this and yeah. So can you buy apartments? Yes you can. Yeah with virtual real estate is a huge part of this. Gaze coin? Gaze coin you can you can basically buy Virtual apartment, a virtual street, yeah. a virtual suburb, yeah. a virtual city, and they're all they're, and they've already been designed. You can go and have a look. Actually, we have an AI planet in Dream Channel. There's an AI planet that we're building. You create a you create a virtual hologram of yourself, and then you teach yourself to move like you by going into VR. It, so that, so that the, the hologram copies your moves, and then it uses AI to 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 learn how you speak from by following you on Facebook. And then, and then it becomes a super version of you. So we call we, we call it super AI. Is what we call the Skynet. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Skynet. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so basically, <laughs> within within a year, there will be smarter versions of you existing in VR world. Who, and, and we're talking persistently. They'll be in there while you're asleep doing stuff. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's that's part of what we're doing.